Chris Urquhart. Urquhart. Scottish name. Urquhart. <laughs> hey, Chris Urquhart, man. Hey. Chris Urquhart joins us now from Parliament House. Chris Urquhart has this exclusive report. Chris Urquhart has been investigating. We're about to discover a different type of jail, and at this place, just across the road, the only thing keeping the prisoners from the outside world, a pool fence like this one. We're entering Emu Plains Correctional Centre in Sydney's west. We cross live to Chris Urquhart, who's in the disaster zone, and it seems remarkable, Chris, that no lives were lost given the ferocity of the fires. Well, Georgie, more than remarkable, it's actually bordering on a miracle. I'm actually standing in the lounge room, or what was the lounge room of the Gray family here in Port Lincoln. For 13 families, not just Christmas dreams, but a lifetime of memories have been reduced to ash and soot. In addition, there was plenty of air support. An important job of the Rural Fire Service on days like these are the water bombing aircraft. We have been hovering above it for about 20 minutes now. We came across what can only be described as horrendous, a thrifty minibus, what you'd imagine to be a hired minibus careering into bushland. The challenge for the real estate agent will be finding a price tag for a view which from up here can only be described as priceless. And suddenly we spot him. Managing Director George Maltaborough. What about having a chat with him, George? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, not, it, it shows a little bit of disrespect to just keep walking off like that. But even as one of his customers, to shake his hand, say good day, have a listen to him. When I get my lunch, I'll come back. A lot of people, though, are just here to have fun, and I suppose you never know who you're going to meet. Wow. But she makes it look easy. Sarah's entire journey around Australia is 15,000 kilometres. This was the lowest score at the MCG by Australia. Talk about the best seats in the house. I think I've just about found them. This is the Australian dressing room. We'll just have a listen. No, they're not talking tactics just yet. The surveillance vehicle's about 20 metres behind him. The most important thing for the surveillance team here is to never lose sight of him. Bag after bag. The drugs you're looking at worth a staggering $20 million. If the two men are convicted, both face the possibility of a life sentence. This is the bedroom of two and a half year old Lael Sarab. And this is a bullet hole, not far from where she was sleeping last night. Chris, has Kevin Rudd addressed the leadership issue yet? Well, not the most recent speculation, Peter. The Prime Minister has been in Canberra all weekend. And these two Australian soldiers among 10 NATO casualties on the bloodiest day in Afghanistan so far this year. One of those soldiers, who was in fact from Brisbane, was killed instantly. It'll be a pretty interesting way to start your Saturday, to wake up, come down to the garage and find it looking like this. Experts warn that we shouldn't have a fear of snakes, but they do say that, unlike Queen Bee here, not all of them are harmless, and we should know what to do in case of an emergency. And many people credit these natural ingredients as being the main reason why the product's been so successful. The North Island of New Zealand. We've made the journey here because we've been told that what we're about to discover in the waters would offer relief for thousands of arthritis sufferers. They have damn good genetics. Their mum Donna knows it, is their biggest fan and watches every move. What do you reckon mum, they're working pretty hard out there today? Oh, yeah, pretty hard. What did you think of that performance? It was unreal. It was unreal, yeah. yeah. What do you, what do you think well, we should do with them? Oh yeah, because you buttons. <laughs> it's sort of like being on Sailor the Century. <laughs> 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 Muscles of the rich and the famous, they're always complaining. Oh. I had to turn around, man. You're singing one of my songs, man. 